still been winning man here with this uh video i usually don't shoot too many videos but i had to do a video today just based on the fact that uh everybody out there in detroit what's up with y'all stand up we representing what i have done within the last couple of weeks of rap i have got a people i a few people eyes on me and there's a rumor that's going around saying that I got signed to a deal. I didn't. I'm still in Detroit. Still right here. But I got some good news for y'all guys that's out there. And you females out there too that's in Detroit that's doing y'all music. It's a couple of artists that secretly are watching y'all. So keep doing y'all music and keep doing what y'all supposed to do and blossom your talent and everything me I'm not gonna tell you the artist's name but this artist had asked me could I be on a song with him so I don't know how that's gonna work out with me being who I am as a person you know a lot of people saying that hey you know you should go full time and try to be a rapper but I I can't be a rapper full time in the industry and stuff and I got my own business because I don't work my ass off all my life. Finally uh, got my business going off the ground and it's doing successful and it's like I would hate to lose the customers that I just gained. I would hate to have to start all over again if something don't work out. So all y'all that's out there, if I gave you a shout out best believe that someone is watching you and the reason why they're watching you is because they see that you got talent they like what y'all are doing i like what some of y'all are doing you know but this is not for me to be trying to come on famous rapper if i do become a famous rapper it will be off my youtube freestyles by themselves i'm a type of dude that i i, I just can't be brought to this day in my life i can't be brought I've been rapping for over, this would be my 37th year as a rapper, and this would be the third time that I just had to decline stuff because me personally, I already know the tricks in the trade, the rules and the schemes and stuff like that, so it's like, you know, I just deal with you for a little bit a second, talk with you to see where your head at, but as soon as the wrong question come up, I'm, I'm exiting. It's just like with my business, you know, a lot of people might ask me, hey, man, could you work with me? And I'll be looking at them like, yo, man, why? I don't mind. I can help you, but I can't work with you because working with you is taken away from my business. So I have to always set up bar and that bar has to be set to separate that because people will get it twisted. I don't have people get mad at me because they took on jobs that they knew they couldn't handle and they just knew I was going to be the, they go to guy, but I can't be your go to guy when my season is here. When my season is here, it's like, okay, I get a certain amount per repair. So if I do repairs, I'm good. Now, when the season slow down and I don't have nothing to do for like two or three weeks at a time, yeah, I might work with somebody and help them get some stuff up, but a lot of people try to incorporate me into what they're doing and I'm a dude, I don't allow people to incorporate me with anything that I don't, if I don't feel 100% about it, I'm not going to go through with it because me, I don't go off of belief, I go off of what I know and at my age and my time with my knowledge and me being a father and my son is still young, I'm going to be an old, I'm going to be old when my son graduates high school. So it's like, you know, everything I'm doing is just for my benefit of my son and my family. So other than that, it's like I probably can make more running my business than I probably will make as a rapper because me personally, I don't, I'm too old to be trying to do tours and go on stage and shit like that i that shit ain't in me it never had it never was in me you know i'm a real i'm a real, real detroit person you know what you think i would do in the rap game if i get out there big i'm gonna get caught up in some bullshit 
all because somebody's going to come at me and they're going to come at me the wrong way. And I don't know how to turn that down. You know, when you when somebody puts you in a position to fight for your life, there's no turn off switch for that. So you try your best not to fuck a motherfucker or kill their ass. But my thing is, only thing I should have to worry about is a motherfucker running up on me and try to do something then and there. Other than that, I don't put myself in a position. So back to the music, what I was talking about in so many ways that a lot of you dudes is out here that got y'all music together and y'all know who y'all are. Y'all got some uh, top industry cats looking at y'all and they like, yeah. So y'all be surprised when y'all get a couple of them uh, chats and stuff. And Cause I'm gonna tell you right now what the artists they do out here. They make a whole bunch of fake accounts and they do a lot of beat channels and stuff just to see where people went rap wise. So that's how they pull you in there. You know, me, I'm just glad that I was who I am as a rapper and to be able to get this far. This is the furthest I ever went as a rapper since I've been rapping, but it's like at the same time in my lifetime. I just had to chill and do me and just be a family man and all this other shit. It, 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 it don't matter to me. Now, if I was like 20 and my family pulled in a motherfucker and ain't shit going right, then yeah, that's some shit that you would jump on and try to risk your life. But people will come at you like that too because they know that you're vulnerable because you're excited because of what this guy did and what this guy did or what this female did. Yeah, that's just to get your mind set off of you. So it was like I was walking around for five or six days with this on my mind. Like, you know, this can't be true. This ain't true. So when I got a confirmation directly that this individual wanted to speak with me, you know, I just took that as an honor and just left it at that because, you know, like I say, it's hard to deal with a person like me because I'm set in my own ways. I'm in my 40s and I'm a business man. So at the same time, I would like to make money off of rap, but I don't rap for money, basically. I, I rap to try to influence people to do better and give people a choice of music that they can listen to. Because there ain't nobody, you know, everybody ain't no dope dealer. Everybody ain't no killer. Everybody ain't in the street, so you know, rap and hip hop it goes hand in hand, but we gotta know how to control it. And right now, the music has control over us, so that's the reason why society is fucked up the way it is. Because all you gotta do is put a dude on TV and let him sell his soul for a gold chain and fuck over his family, and that becomes acceptable in society. So me, I know I got a role to play because it's too many people that look up to me and it's like, if I've been living in Detroit all my life and I'm one of these people that's still here and surviving, it's a reason why I'm here because we need help. We actually need help in Detroit because we got failed school systems and stuff like that. It's like everybody dropping out of school, don't know why I want to work history. You gotta have a work history to build your credit up and stuff like that. And people believe, oh, I ain't, I got perfect credit because I ain't never used it. No, that's some bullshit. You gonna still need a cosign. So the only thing you can do is cosign for yourself. But I'm just here to let y'all know that all y'all rappers is out there from the D. I got mad respect and love for y'all. And a few of y'all are very selective that they are looking at. So like I say, you know, Prepare for uh, the phone call or prepare for the message that's going to get sent to you because I don't have no control of what a person want to choose, but I do recommend and I give people shout outs. That's why I say I show love to all the Detroit artists, and but you know, some of us don't show each other love, so I just looked at it like that. You know, army, army associate with those that, that show me love well, what I do because I love rap you know if I didn't love rap I wouldn't do it so 
I'm not gonna be one of them dudes be like, oh man, he ain't sell a million copies. Oh, he ain't do this, he ain't do that. Because a dope MC gonna always be a dope MC. And I'm proud that the world gives me the respect as a dope MC because just the respect as a dope MC alone is hurting a lot of motherfuckers that thought I wasn't shit. And this is the reason why I did this shit to silence a lot of people miles that, you know. But back to uh, life. This is Winnie Man. I'm out. Y'all stay safe. Keep staying original. Keep saying dope. You know, y'all that got y'all own identities that ain't trying to rap like nobody else or be somebody else. You got somebody looking for you. Y'all got y'all got somebody looking for y'all. And hey, take the opportunity. Take the opportunity because it's not meant for me. Peace.